when we were invited to participate in the vaccine trials, we really jumped at that chance. Our site, the HIV Prevention Trials Network Clinical Research Site, was invited to participate. I've been here for uh, over a decade. We had a team experienced with the ethical aspects, with the regulatory aspects, with the safety aspects of doing you know, a vaccine trial. Definitely the most important was the, the human resources that we had and the experienced trained team. Not just you know, in the clinic, but even in the lab. So having you know, a team ex with experience handling specimens and processing them. Samples that are collected include both blood that is drawn from individuals as well as swabs that are inserted into their nose. And it's that serum that we separate off from the whole blood that is then frozen down into smaller aliquots and will then be sent off to a centralized lab where serology testing or antibody testing can occur. I think one thing that made our community engagement strategy slightly unique is that we did build it on extensive community partnerships that already existed. I personally don't think we could do this work if we just came into it blind and didn't have those extensive partnerships already. We were very fortunate that we had engagement from a large proportion of African American individuals, Latinx individuals, we have people who are older, which is really important because we know that people who are older are, are more severely affected by COVID-19. Um, we have gender representation, sexual orientation representation, comorbidities were adequately represented to make sure that they again look like the base population. I heard about the clinical trial on the news and I knew that um, the credibility of GW and I could help by being a part of the vaccine and, 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 and diversify the study because I'm a 56 year old black man who works for the city and I just wanted to be part of the solution. I think it's really important for people to recognize that it really is a cast of thousands. It's not just one person saying this vaccine works. It's a lot of people working together to make sure that it works safely. One of the results of us doing the Moderna Phase 3 vaccine trial will definitely be a stronger and bigger vaccine testing unit and capacity, and especially an increased collaboration between the School of Medicine and Health Sciences and the School of Public Health. It's really been a collaborative effort between the two schools to get this vaccine trial done, and I think it's just going to lead to us being able to really grow as an institution that's known for doing vaccine development and clinical vaccine trials. Throughout this pandemic, GW has been at the forefront of fighting COVID-19. Our Moderna vaccine clinical trial site is among our university's most important contributions. And we are proud of the faculty, researchers, and clinicians at the George Washington University School of Medicine and Health Sciences, the GW Medical Faculty Associates, and the Milken Institute School of Public Health for once again using their expertise and our academic mission in service of the public good.